everybody, it's Renee with Cancer Size with Renee V. Today we're doing upper body work, okay? So just have a set of weights. And uh, yeah, we're just strictly going to do some upper body. It's going to be a pretty slow and small workout today because I'm struggling <laughs> with my upper body. My lymphedema is flaring up big time. <clears throat> For whatever reason, I don't know deal with it, right? Let's do some static stretching and get those arms warmed up a little bit. Make the muscles cold and stretched. Okay. Shoulders. We'll march in place a little bit here just to warm up our whole lower body too. And back, bigger circles, get those shoulders really loosened up and warmed up. And cross them over, chest, back. Oh my gosh, okay. So grab one weight. Okay, I'm doing a lighter or uh, heavier weight today. I'm doing an eight pounder. Um, and we're just gonna work until we're fatigued, okay? So no counting, but you can count if you need to. We're gonna start with a bicep curl. Tuck your elbow into your hip, okay? Knees slightly bent, abs in, and brace, and we're gonna come all the way up. Breathing. Abs are in, right? Protecting your back. Concentrate on going down as much as you are coming up. Practice against that resistance, okay? Okay, now once you come halfway and down, okay? Making sure that wrist isn't collapsing. Don't over squeeze that bite that. Uh, weight, <laughs> whatever it's called. Okay, now from here up to your shoulder, okay? Okay, now out here in front and we're crossing over to our shoulder, okay? Just remember slow and controlled. Just until you're fatigued or you can't do good form anymore. All right? We've got one more knee, I think. Okay, now arm down. We're going to do a hammer curl. That means your palms are facing each other like this for using both arms up to your shoulder. Remember your knees are still bent and your abs are tucked in and you're breathing, right? <clears throat> it's hard for me with the heavier weight, but it's okay because we're building up to be stronger, right? Okay, that's it for me for good form. So now we're going to go half and then down. Oh my gosh. Half. Half. Okay, now we're going to go from half and up if I can, okay? This is my bad arm, so I'm really trying to work it. Building up that biceps and triceps. shoulder out. Yeah, we're just working one arm at a time. Um, yeah, we are. That's just how we're doing it today, okay? <clears throat> so now I want you to lift your weight up to your shoulder. 
We're going to do a shoulder press. You guys ready? Straight up and down. I don't know if any of you struggle with lymphedema. Lymphedema. <laughs> I have a lymphedema sleeve, but like right now, straightening my arm up like this hurts. And mine always seems to swell up in my armpit, where all of a sudden I feel like I have a golf ball under there. And that's where the swelling is. And usually the swelling doesn't hurt so much, but today, or yesterday, or even today, I'm having quite a bit of pain with it. So I keep doing my exercises, yeah, to keep working it out. Oh my gosh, let's do a couple more. It's one of my favorite moves and I like the way it feels. I feel strong. Okay, so now elbow up, brace it because this is a heavier weight and we're trying to do a tricep. Now don't let it, I know you can't really see this, but don't let it fall and drop. So keep it bent halfway here, right? And you're just bending at that elbow. Abs are in as best they can be. Don't let that wrist collapse. A couple more here. Now your form is still good. Just go in and tell the fatigue for me. This is a clump. Okay. I'm releasing that. Now we're going to start it out on the other side if we can remember what we did. Okay. So we're tucking that elbow into that hip and we're doing full bicep curls to start. A little harder for me because I'm using eights instead of fives. But like I said, I'm pushing myself and listening to my body. When I'm starting to get fatigued or my form is starting to get where it could be harmful, I switch it out. So here we go. I'm just going to go halfway and down again. Again, concentrating on this bicep and concentrating on that curl, both up and down, keeping it steady. And now we're going to go all the way from the halfway to the shoulder, okay? And that's about all I got for that. Okay, now we're going to do the touch your shoulder thing, okay? So this is just basically, it's still a bicep curl, but we're just doing it at a different angle. So we're using a different part, you know, addressing just a slightly different part of that bicep muscle. Just bracing my elbow because I'm struggling, so I'm going to keep that form good. Let's do two more, I think, maybe. Yeah, I got about that much left in me. All right, so shake that arm out. Now we're going to do a hammer curl on just that one side, right? So all the way up and then down. Slow and steady. Arm is tucked into the side. Gosh, I've only got like maybe one more hand. I'm having a hard time with my form on this side. Okay, now we're going to go up. Okay, push yourself if you can, but don't overdo it. If your form is starting to, if you're not having good form, you're going to do injury to your body. So make sure, like I was really struggling with that lower half part of this hammer curl, and I was losing form, so I could only do a few of them. See, this is difficult right here. Okay, so what do we have left? We have the uh, press and a tricep on that side, right? Okay. So, here, 
press up. And don't bang yourself in the head like I just did. <laughs> Knees slightly bent, abs tucked in, protecting that lower back. Concentrating on the movement in your shoulder and your bicep and your tricep all working here. Breathing. Oh my gosh. Got this right. Let's do one more. Okay, and tricep. Remember, don't let it bend past the back, okay? Slow and steady. Really feel this in my tricep with that heavier weight. It's all good. You gotta work it. Gotta build those muscles up. Gotta get our bodies stronger, right? Keep this in this peak fighting mode by getting stronger. All right, let's just do two more. Again, I'm only going until I'm fatigued and losing good form. All right, we're gonna do something called, I call it pull on weeds, but we used to call it with Jane Fonda workout way back when. Knees bent. But don't go into a squat, and you're going to be bending over, and we're pulling weeds. Got it? And bring those elbows up to your side. Almost done, guys. We're almost done. Concentrate. Bring those arms up next to your sides. Now, hold it here, arms out, kick back, and down. Let's do a couple more of those heavier weights. I have a hard time with those tricep kickbacks. Knees slightly bent, abs are in, you're breathing, head and neck is straight in the line. A couple more here, maybe just one. Kick back, and come on up. Okay, we're gonna do our side bends. Knees bent, touch them, sliding down the side. I like this move. Helps bring that curve back in to your sides. So, gotta do what I can do, right? My belly is hanging out there. It's all good. If I am 100% real, I struggle. I have weight issues, as you can see. I'm not your average looking fitness professional, but I am a certified fitness professional. And I'm still always doing continuing education to learn more, to share with you guys. And when I'm healthy enough, I plan on getting licensed in a few more classes and start teaching again. All right, bend your knees and put those weights down. Let's stretch it out, guys. Same stretch as we started with. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, that feels good. Let's see if I can do that on this side. Oh, okay. Shoulder down. Stretch out that tricep. Do the chest and back, and then we'll breathe and we'll be done. Or you can do it two more times or three more times, whatever you have in you, okay? Or you can mix and match it with some other workouts. The beauty of only having like 10 minute workouts is that you can mix and match and make yourself as long as you need to. As long as you're doing a good warm up and a good cool down at the end of it, you can add a whole bunch into it and get a good workout. Let's breathe. Go ahead and modify everything you need to modify. Less weights, no weights, more reps, less reps. Having a chair by your side to balance you, whatever you need to do. Okay. The most important thing is that you're still moving and working out um, and keeping yourself mentally motivated to fight. So you're talking to your doctor, listening to your body, hydrating with water, and you know, you are stronger. I am stronger. You are stronger. Together we're stronger. Keep fighting. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.